Hey guys, Thomas here. Today we're out in sunny Melbourne, as you can see, definitely not cold Melbourne. And we are here for the Melbourne Multirotor Club Round 3. Today we do have something very special. Last race up in Canberra I raced the Foxia FPV quad and this year, this year? Today we have this thing. So if you guys remember just over a year ago we had a guy named Paul come down, the designer of this drone, uh, all pre-built by him and we tested it on the track. Since then he's made a bunch of revisions to it and this time we are taking it racing. So I have one of these. It's fully 3D printed. Some things to sort of draw your attention to that I do love about this. Do keep in mind it is meant to be injection molded for the final production version. But there is almost zero exposed wires on this thing. Which means that assuming the outer shell was strong, there's going to be no punctures to your battery cells, no damage to your motor wires or battery wires or VTX or anything. Uh, obviously it's tried to make it as aerodynamic as possible, although aerodynamics are a thing of wizardry that I don't know if anyone can truly understand. And then another thing that is really cool, the battery is almost a mid-mount. So from a cornering standpoint, that is actually a really lovely feature. I've tried designing mid-mounts before with little success. Um, I always love all these crazy attempts at trying to get optimal packaging. So i uh, really keen to see how this thing goes. I've done a total of one flight on it, so I have no idea what to expect. Ken. Yeah. Hi. How do you think it's going to go today? <laughs> um, I think it's going to go well until it hits something, as you know. No, but I think it's going to be awesome to watch. How many races do you think it's it'll do? It's going to be awesome to watch. Um, all of them. No, all of them? It's going to do all of them. I have absolute confidence. Wow. It's going to do all of them. Okay. <laughs> I think you're more generous than me. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going for four. That's what I'm going for. No, I'm going to no, make it four good. rounds without a mid air. No, no, no. It's I'm going to do all of them, Thomas. We'll see. I'm going to try my best. I will give it my everything. How do you think we're going to go today? Do you think it will survive? Oh yeah, Thomas has never crashed in his life. He'll be fine. How do you think we're going to go today? Wow. Let's take a look at this. Um, does it fly? It does fly. I've done a total of one flight. <laughs> a total of one flight. It's very interesting, I've got to say. Um, I'm really looking forward to see how this goes. And if anyone can fly it, Thomas, it's you, buddy. Okay, well, everyone's being really polite to me today. This is amazing. I don't think it's going to survive. Yeah, I guessed four flights. That was my guess. Four, four rounds it'll last. Do you reckon it'll make it the whole day? I'll be interested to see if actually how it holds up actually in, like, without crashing. As in speed-wise? Well, just, like, will the in structural integrity sort of stay together with just the speed that you're pushing it at? That's what I'll be interested to see. How those arms go. Yeah, so much flex. Don't flex it, please don't Yeah, flex it. probably shouldn't push it. But, uh... There you go. Where's the battery? Battery? Yeah, I'll show you. This is actually really cool. So, pop that off. Battery sits inside. If that swells up, I'm not sure I'm going to get it out. But, um, mid mount. How many, how many, uh, laps? How many laps are you going to get, you reckon, out of that? I have no idea. That'll, I'm hoping that, we can go the race di distance. How big is um, the battery? 650 milliamp hour four cell. And I think it's a Tattoo V1. Oh, line. wow. So, so all tech. Really old battery, because it's the only ones I have in that size I think okay. that you could get. And you got your antenna kind of in there. What do you reckon? Yeah. How do you reckon the reception is going to go? Down the far end of the track. I guess we're going to find out. It was okay when there was no one else in the air when I did that one flight um, with other people up going all the way to the very back of the course. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully, because it is 3D printed, hopefully there's not too much shielding. We'll see. Good luck, buddy. I can't wait to see it. Thank you. Great stuff. Of course, it's going to be fast. It's aerodynamic. Yeah, it's oh, running it's really 51 small. 5143. Props, 5141, 5143. I'm not sure what they are. They're gem fan. 5130s. 51, oh my god. Yeah. Okay. But I have the team motors um, with me just in case because I have no spares. No. So. You'll be fine. I don't think you'll need spare props. 45 <laughs> camera angle? You'll need a spare quad. <laughs> Can you explain what you're going to do now? We are going to get ready to launch. Uh, I can't do a traditional launch with this because it's got pusher prop. So we're using a tape, a roll of tape as a launcher. How do you actually power? Oh, you got to 
power it up. Unplug it. it up. Oh wow. Yeah. So I'll wait till are we? Is someone going? I think. Wait, the game might be going out again. Are you using stick commands to change channels? Yeah. Oh wow. Stick commands. I've got good practice at it with the uh, Foxy Accord. So. Oh, is that what you were doing with the Foxy too? Yep. Okay. And then. It's kind of perfectly shaped to fly to the moon, really. Yeah. <laughs> Save and exit. Okay, that's done. That's ready to go. I'm really keen to see how this goes. Uh, do I unblock it for now, or do I? I want to watch it. Gabe, are you going out? Excuse me? You going out? Uh, am I up now? Yeah, you're up. So starving. Good to go. Let's do this! <laughs> so I think this first flight, I'm going to let everyone take off. Because I don't want to risk anything on the start. And then I'm going to get like five tenths. Okay. And just try and learn how to fly this thing, learn the track, yeah, yeah, yeah. and hopefully not break it. Thomas is taking off last, as everyone knows. Yeah, or should I take off first? Ah, we to do. I feel like I'm gonna get rammed, because I'm gonna have to get used to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter. This is testing it. Okay. I am so nervous, holy. Okay. Everybody ready? Ready. Roughly? Roughly? Yeah, that's good enough. Arm your quads. Starting on the top, less than five. <laughs> Everyone wants to see this fly. Everyone up? Yeah. He took off. Oh, some fell off. Some fell off. You'll have to get it back. It's the uh, launcher. Okay. Oh, oh is that all? Oh, yeah. don't worry about it then. Keep going. You got two quads in front of you? Yeah. Okay. Holy, this thing picks up speed. Whoa, 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 I'm not used to how to, ha, 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 this is, the camera's got high latency. One lap in 22.16. IQ zero, one lap in 24.17. BMS Thomas, one lap in 22.37. It feels like a turbo kicks in when you tilt it too far. That's hectic. IQ zero, two laps oh God, in 42.38. BMS Thomas two laps in 42.08 remaining IQ zero two laps in 36.1 Ironoid two laps in 38.05 Spurgai two laps in 68.59 there's a Gabe in front of me, how do I get around him? IQ 0 2 laps in 35.21 He's just gone past Gabe! BMS okay. Thomas 2 laps yeah. in 33.06 yeah. It's very far It's very hard BMS Thomas 2 laps in 33.06 Very gently, land in the high grass Okay IQ 0 2 laps in 33.06 I'll spot where it lands, anywhere there's good very gently. Cut. Two laps in That's all the laps it can do. So. Zero seconds remaining. Whew. How was it? It's really interesting. Okay. IQ zero two laps I think the props probably struggle a little bit at the upper end. It's got a ton of high speed though. The camera latency feels a bit high. I'm not sure if it's using a predator or not. Um, the other thing too, I think as the drag goes lower, the more you tilt, there goes a certain point where it's like it flicks over to light speed, but then it's like really hard to control because it's not like a progression. It's like it's not going quick and then it's going really quick. So my slaloms are really wide. So I think I'm gonna have to feel this one out again and maybe try and learn how to launch it. Okay, that's all in. New tape this time. This is from one of our good friends, Chiz. Can you explain so, what happened last time? Uh, I took off and the launcher decided to go with me. <laughs> so, it did fall off eventually, but... We all saw something fall off. We weren't sure what it was. Yeah, that's holding. Do a test arm. A test arms. Uh, this one, I want to learn how to launch it. And then try and actually learn how to corner. Because my cornering was suboptimal. <laughs> we'll work it out. I'm ready. Okay, follow three. Let's see if I can learn how to launch this thing. Arm your quads. Starting on the tone in less than five. Full shot BMS Thomas 3.03.
Oh, it's windy. Oh god, that's difficult. DMS Thomas one lap in 17.42. IQ zero one lap in 19.24. Whoa. Sure had one lap in 24.85. <laughs> <laughs> DMS Thomas two laps in 33.76. I zero two laps. Oh god! Oh no! I think I broke it. Okay, oh, leave it there. Don't, don't try and tilt it. Oh. oh! That was looking good. It was, but I potatoed. We'll go check it out shortly. It's intact! Oh wait, no, it's not. Okay. Broken? I think so. Okay. Ah. Uh, I'll see if I can make a quick field repair, but well, that well. might be it. It did okay. That's a shame that I broke it on the second flight, though. Oh, that's fine. Just chuck a zip fly around the whole thing and just, like, tighten it down. <coughs> <laughs> I don't, yeah, it's the actual epoxy's broken. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is broken, too. Yeah. Um. Oh, damn. Okay, yeah, so that's it. Let's unplug it. I mean, to say that there was potential there, 100%. Um, it's a real shame I broke it early. I didn't want that to happen. It was actually pretty quick. I want to see what the times were. You were yeah, like, you were I was a 16s, 15s. Okay. Yeah, you were a fair bit quicker than me on the first flight, even. So we'll Your see. Your launch was actually good. It would have gone way faster. Okay. It's uh This is actually such a shame. But good data, irrespective. Yeah. Uh, Paul. Can we try another one? <laughs> <laughs> nah, seriously. Uh, I guess we'll go on to the normal race now. But yeah, we'll see if I can adapt to the JS1, finish off the day, hopefully strong. I really wish we could have seen what this thing was capable of because I think there was a lot of potential there that we missed. Well, it got to do a proper race, proper race test, which is pretty good. So we just finished lunch, we're about to get ready for the finals. Um, I've really got to improve my upward, sort of the whole high altitude section of the track all the way to the dive gate, I really need to get under control. And the slalom section too. So I'm going to try and fix those up now, get ready for the race. We'll see how we go. Ready? Ready. Arm your quads. Starting on the tone in less than five. Hold top EMS Thomas 2.19. EMS Thomas lap 1 in first. IQ 0 lap 1 in second. Ironoid lap 1 in third. Sir Guy lap 1 in fourth. Cut and close lap 1 in fifth. EMS Thomas lap 2 in first. IQ zero lap two in second. Ironoid lap two in third. BMS Thomas finished in first. That was a close battle, but we made it through safe. We'll see if we can uh, pull a bit of a better gap for the second run. But uh, yeah, turned it up and it worked. That Q zero on our Okay, one. round two. Sir, I think we're going to try gas it a bit more in the straights without crashing. BMS hopefully. On R7. Um, and I Iron really want to try to get those slaloms nice and smooth. Okay. Arm your quads. Starting on the tone in less than five. BMS Thomas lap 1 in 1st, IQ 0 lap 1 in 2nd, Ironoid lap 1 in 3rd, Cut and Close lap 1 in 4th, Sir Guy lap 1 in 5th, BMS no Thomas anyway. lap 2 in 1st, IQ 0 Three, lap 2 in 2nd, Ironoid lap 2 in 3rd, BMS Thomas finished in 1st, IQ 0 finished in 2nd, 3rd I lap 2 in 4th. 
Twelve five seven. Pushing as hard as I can. How was it, Tom? It was all right. We made it happen that time. I was able to push a little more in the straights. My last, or well, second last slalom, that felt really good. But I'm still not consistent. I'm really not finding that uh, same line that I normally get, where I get that sort of repetition. Really not finding it today. But we'll see what we can do. We're gonna work with it. Uh, I think for this last one, keep focusing on those same points, just be really careful not to crash. Maybe try to get rid of my backing off the throttle a bit more, try to hold it just a touch more and guide it a bit more. I think with that I can sort of mimic what I want to make. Um, overall though it isn't quite what I was going for, but it'll have to do. So it's racing, you got to work with what you got, and this is the skill set I've got to work with, so I'll make it happen. Okay. Arm your quads. Starting on the tone in less than five. Perfect. Yeah, what? Yeah. 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 Ironoid lap one in third. Three, two, one, lap one in yeah. fourth. BMS Thomas lap two in first. Cut and close lap one in fifth. IQ zero lap two in second. Three, two, one. Oh, no, yeah. Ironoid right. lap two in third. BMS Thomas finished in first. That's a bird. Lap two in fourth. That's a bird up there. IQ zero finished in second. Okay, so that was the third and final round. We made it through safe and sound, even with a mid-air collision on the last lap. Overall, I'd say this day didn't really quite go to plan how I hoped. I really wanted to see that other air racer go and see how well it would run. We never really got to realize its full potential, and I do think there was a lot more in it. So whether, Paul, if you want to get this thing rebuilt and send it in again, or anyone else's other wacky ideas like this, I would really, really love to actually see what it can do. <laughs> Regardless, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Brilliant job, Gabe. And uh, hello. We'll catch you guys in a video soon. See ya.